a sort of neutral ground, a most advantageous point from which to contemplate this world. The waves forever roll into the land are too far traveled and untamable to be familiar. It is even a trivial place. Creeping along this endless beach amid the sun squall and the foam, it occurs to us that we too are the products of sea slime. It is a wild and rank place, and there is no flattery in it, strewn with horseshoes and razor clams, and whatever the sea casts up, a vast morgue, where famished dogs may range in packs and crows come daily to glean the pittance which the tide leaves them. The carcasses of men and beasts together lie stately up upon its shelf, rotten and bleaching in the sun and waves, and each tide turns them in their beds and tucks fresh sand under them. There is naked nature, inhumanly sincere, wasting no thought on man, nibbling at the cliffy shore where gulls wheel amid the spray. Everything is so white. Always has been. It's shrinking all the time. Trees take off a certain percentage and so on. Uh, but uh, there still is space. I think most people are touched by living here, whether they know it or not. as a fashionable are made here and unmade in a day. But the time must come when this coast will be a place of resort for those New Englanders who really wish to visit the seaside. At present, it is wholly unknown to the fashionable world and probably it will never be agreeable to them. Very few changes have not been to the detriment of Truro in my time. No. These guys that develop land, well, oh, it's a bonanza. Big deal. Well, they don't stop to realize that every bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> reduces what Toro basically had. But she was the space, the visibility, and the beauty of the place. I have a feeling of well-being which comes from each step I walk here. Trappers were friends of mine. I grew up with them as kids, and their fathers were trappers, and they were after me if I could do something about getting the trap started. So, gee whiz, we scraped up enough money to get going, and she never regretted it for one instant, <laughs> ever. I've always worked hard physically, but gee, that was so great. Those traps, you never knew what you were going to see next, you know, and it was worth pulling for. <laughs> and you'd see a fish you never saw before, or something would happen, you know, it would be a re definite reward. There weren't many days you weren't rewarded, and I think that's one of the big things. To the fishermen, the Cape itself is a sort of store ship, laden with supplies. A safer and larger craft which carries the women and children, the old men and the sick. And indeed, sea phrases are as common on it as on board a vessel. Thus is it ever with a seagoing people.
there I had got the cape under me, as much as if I were riding it bareback. It was not as on a map, or seen from a stagecoach, but there I found it all out of doors, huge and real, Cape Cod, as it cannot be represented on a map. Color it as you will. What are springs and waterfalls? Here is the spring of spring, the waterfall of waterfalls. stand here and put all America behind him. To see the world, to see the world in a grain of sand, and heaven in a wildflower, old infinity in the form of your hand, and eternity in an hour. 